Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Code. Today we're doing another brain stellar quant puzzle. This one is called Chuck a Luck. This is a medium problem of probability type. So I'll let you guys read the problem first. So basically, we're playing this gambling game where there's one uh, rupee a ticket to play the game, and the game is that we get three um, three turns at rolling a dice. Uh, the dice are unfair and identical. We choose a number from one to six before the three rolls, and as given in in this sentence over the over here, if the book number appears on one, two, three, one. 0, 1, 2, or 3 dice, the player wins rupees 0, 1, 2, or 3 respectively. So basically, you're winning as much money as many times the uh, book number comes up, right? And we don't return the original 1 rupee. So basically, uh, we're spending 1 rupee and we're betting on, and we're betting on winning uh, an amount from 0 rupees all the way up to 3 rupees. And all of these values will have different probabilities, right? And what we've been asked is, what is the expected money you can win after buying a ticket? So basically, we have to calculate the expected amount of profit that we receive by playing this game. Now, the normal approach that usually comes to people's mind is to calculate the probability of winning zero games, the probability of, of one game, probability of winning two games, and the probability of winning three games. And the expected profit becomes the summation of these three values over here. So this is the standard expected profit formula, right? Where uh, we're basically using the formula E of X is the summation of P of X equals to small x into X, where small x is basically all the values that the random variable capital X can take up, right? Now, this approach is good, but there's better approaches that we can use if we try to think about the problem smartly and simplify the problem using some tricks. So those are so I'm going to go over two such approaches in this video. To understand this approach, you have to read the problem really quick, carefully. So what is given to us is that we are spending one rupee to play three games, and all of those three games are identical. What's happening in in this scenario is that uh, according to the number of times our book number appears on the dice we are getting the exact same amount of money right and since there's three games well if you think about it basically what's happening is for each game we get one rupee if we get our book number right since it's given in the question in a slightly complicated manner it says that we first roll the dice three times and depending on the total number of times we get our book number, we are given these respective amounts. But what is essentially happening is every time we get the book number, we get a, a, an additional one rupee. And since all of the three games are completely identical, I could say that we are actually play, paying one by three rupees to play a single game where we win one rupee if we get our book number. And we win zero rupees if we get anything else, which would look something like this, right? Our profit is these two values depending on these two cases. And basically, we're playing this scenario three times. We, uh, ha we have to play the scenario three times. Well, since everything is completely identical and it's just repeating three times, I could say that the expected profit of the initial game is just three times the expected profit of this sub game, which is basically this sub game that I'm talking about over here. So I'm denoting it by E dash to represent the sub game that we just defined. Again, try to understand that essentially what's happening in this game is we're playing three sub games where we're paying one by three rupees for each game. And if we get the number we have booked on, then we win one rupee. And if we don't get that number, we lose that one by three rupees because we essentially win zero rupees. So it is pretty simple to calculate the profit E dash, right? I'm just going to denote profit by P now. It is one into the probability that we get our book value, which would be uh, essentially one by six, right? Because 
each of the outcomes, each of the six numbers are equally likely, and it's zero, right, into the probability that we don't get it, which would be five by six. So this comes out to be one by six, right? So the expected profit for each game is one by six, and the expected amount, well, it's obvious that the amount that we have to pay is one by three. So we can already see that one by six minus one by three is negative one by six. So playing this game is not gonna yield us a profit profit on our on average, right? We can already start to see this. Now again, to answer the initial question, the expected profit would just be three times this value, which would be three into one by six, right? So that would mean one by two. So we pay one rupee to play this uh, game as mentioned over here, and we win only on an average. The expected money that we are going to win after buying this ticket is going to be one by two. The second solution that I'm going to talk about is essentially the solution given on the website. And this solution lies on the trick that to remove uncertainty or chance, basically, since this is uh, a game where we're rolling a die, there's obviously going to be chance, right? So the strategy we use to remove uncertainty is that we bet one rupee on every single number. So basically we bet one rupee on the number one, we bet another rupee on the number two and so on for each of the six numbers. Let's say we do this, right? So in total we bet a, a total amount of six rupees. Now what happens according to the game is, no matter what number comes up for each and every roll, we're gonna end up getting three rupees. You guys can pause right now and try to think about this, but no matter what uh, sequence of numbers come up for the three rolls, right? Since each roll is gonna correspond to at least one of the bets we made, that's gonna yield us one rupee. And for the second roll, it's gonna correspond to at least one of these six values. That's gonna yield us another one. And the same for the third. The third number also is gonna be at least something between one all the way to six. And since we bet on that value, we're going to get another rupee. So no matter what happens, we give in six rupees and we come out with three rupees, right? And since we were playing six games, uh, the expected profit for six games was three rupees. The expected profit for one game is going to be three divided by six, which is going to be equal to one by two, which is the same answer. Now, just to clarify, the reason why this removes uncertainty and the reason why this type of solution is correct is because we basically so by playing six games and calculating the expected profit of those six games and then dividing it by six is perfectly simulating what we mean by an average outcome or an expected outcome right and we remove uncertainty because no matter what value comes up on the three rolls it's gonna correspond to something so we don't really have to even think about the different possible cases. This is uh, the website solution. I recommend you guys to pause and go over it. And I hope you guys understood these solutions. And thanks for watching.